put an offer in on a new boat. We're in Montenegro, we are in Couture, and we've hired a car. Where are we going? I have no idea whatsoever, but we're going to go around the coastline. Yeah, so the Bay of Couture is quite a, a big um, circular shape, essentially, and then you have to get on the ferry at the other end. So we thought we'd go and see all the sights on the way because they look like beautiful little villages and look very nice. <laughs> we don't know where we're going, just down to a little what looks like village. Lady of the Lady of the something or other, and I've forgotten already, so we'll have to find lady a sign. Of the lake, maybe. Yeah. So we just paid five euros each to get to the island, and we were going to go in the church, but they wanted two euros each. So we'll probably get that one of this. So we thought it was a bit pushy, really. We're going on the ferry. We're going to cross over to the other side. <laughs> Don't say that on sands. Which is what they do <laughs> on ferries. Yeah. It's ferry chaos. Wow. Yeah, we know what they're doing. We shouldn't have done it before. It's a yacht coming in between the two of them. Jesus. to get across on the ferry. That'd be nice little Airbnb, wouldn't it? Happening. <laughs> well, the wind's just picked up in the anchorage. Um, no idea how strong it is. Not that strong, really. It's just gusty, and unfortunately, the boats are all swinging around. Yeah, we um, we came back off the road trip a little bit early, actually, because we knew it was going to be a bit rough this afternoon. But this wind's got up, and unfortunately, it's blowing us in a bit of a different direction than the anchor lane. But um, this storm was forecast, and normally, when you get a thunderstorm, you do get um, some wind with it. Hopefully it's only going to last a short period of time. Healthy looking cows are quite fat. And they're just really cute. It's very nice, isn't it? Ooh, what's that then? Hello. Yeah, it's got steps down into it now. Proper fountain. Does it work? Go and try it. I can't see any water anywhere, so I doubt it.
cruise liner doing a three point turn in the Bay of Couture. Wow. Well, we're going to walk up the fortress, up to the top. Seriously? Could be a long way, and it's blooming hot. We're on the path up to the fortress, quite a long way. It's a bit warm. We pay eight. Eight euro each. each. We got a little ticket. <laughs> yeah. So we're on our way. Go. So we're about a tenth of the way up, if that. It's about it's thirty-five. It's about thirty-five degrees. And I'm sweating a bit. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, everybody puffing and panting as they walk past us. Yeah. Yeah. Queuing up now, these cruise liners. My hands might be a bit shaky, so the video might be a bit more shaky. We've walked up about a million steps. Feels like it. Yeah, a few hundred, I think. Yeah, definitely. So there's the town below. Got two cruise liners there, and another smaller one out there. We're just leaving Couture. How you doing there? What are you doing? No time to wash the belt. You're washing your mess up. <laughs> yeah, all the mud on the anchor, it's like clay stuff again. Um, yeah, we've enjoyed being here. We've seen some amazing sights, including things like this thing coming up. Another clipper. They are gorgeous. But yeah, we've had a lovely time. Walked up to the top of the um, fortress, which is up there, you can't see it. Um, seen lots of cruise liners all in there, four in today, this being one of them. But yeah, it's been good. We hired a car for a couple of days, saw some sights, did the zip line at Tara Canyon. So yeah, we've had a good time. So we're moving round the corner, not very far, it's about eight nautical miles back to where the island is. And the reason for that is this wind coming up in the next couple of days. So yeah, we're going to head down there. We're going to collect some water on the way at one of the marinas. Apparently it's relatively cheap, we'll soon let you know. We're on our way to Porto Novi, which is a marina, which is owned by De Marine. Is that Porto Novi, is it? Porto Novi is, yeah. And we're going there for some water, actually, because we're about run out now. <laughs> and you want to do some washing. Yeah, I know. You've got to wash the bedding, you know, all by hand, in a bucket, it's a nightmare, but, you know. So it's five euros for a tonne of water, and apparently you're allowed to just go and dock for an hour. So we're expecting this dawn this morning, and I think we've got it. It's, um, it's rolling overnight, and um, we're supposed to have rain all day, a thunderstorm for, I don't know, a couple of hours, I think. We've got Red Rue over there behind us and um, some of the friends, Steve and Carol, on the boat behind, so plenty of friends here to keep us company today. And we have got some other friends arriving later on today as well. As well as we lost the boat, we need it. I think we've got one of them. Well, that is some rain. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. you, happy birthday to you, Kevin, happy birthday to you. Where are we? We're in Porto Montenegro and we are going to have some euros for the lunch and just a general walk around, basically, just for my birthday. Yeah. Might even have an ice cream. We took the dinghy in, it took about, what, 20 minutes? Uh, 25, yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of a way, um, the wind was a bit breezy in the middle, so we'll probably get quite a lot of wind this afternoon, we'll be blown aback, so yeah. see you in a bit. Yeah. It would seem that on a Sunday everything closes here, which is quite nice actually. It used to happen in the UK, but that's long gone now, but most of the shops other than the cafes and, and bars are closed, so 
It's quite a nice thing, really. A very nice area around the Porto Montenegro Marina. Interesting. It's your birthday. It is my birthday. Um, but we've got a little bit of news. Um, a couple of days ago, we put an offer in on a new boat. Ooh, scary. Yeah, um, <laughs> so we'll keep you posted as to what it is and whether we actually get it or not. So it's exciting. It's exciting. It's yeah. a bigger boat. Um, it'll be one that we actually live on now that we've sold the villa. So, so yes, we've sold the house as well. We don't know if we told you that. Yeah, the house is gone. The money's in the bank, money's burning the bank. a hole in our pockets, hence yeah. the new boat. Yeah, so we're quite excited. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.